how to add YouTube timestamp links, YouTube chapter tutorial. Hey guys, I know you've seen this, right? You've gone to a video and it had these little timestamps on it. And it's really cool because you can actually click on one of those timestamps and go to that spot in the video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add those to all your videos. Now, this is really important because some people just want to get to a certain piece of information and the easier you make it for them to get to this piece of information, the more they're going to enjoy your video, the more they enjoy your video, the more they're going to be likely to subscribe and like your video. And of course, turn on notifications. So I want to jump right in here. I'm going to go to some of my videos. I want to show you what it looks like on a desktop computer. I want to show you what it looks like on mobile. And I want to show you how you can do it in almost no time. I also am going to show you some examples of ones I have on my videos so you can see that and we'll change these in real time so that you can see how it works. So let's go ahead and jump over to my channel right now. I'm going to pull up a video and then I'm going to alter it. So you guys can see exactly how to add these timestamps. Let's get going. Okay. I'm at one of my videos right now and I'm in the editing portion of it, but let's go ahead and look at the video first to see what it looks like. Okay. So I'm actually at the video now and I'm going to stop this and I'm going to just scroll down and I'm going to go ahead and look at the show more. Now, these are the timestamps that I'm talking about right here. And these particular timestamps, if you were to click on them is going to go to that spot in the video. Let me get rid of this ad on my video though. I love ads because I get paid on those, but let me go ahead and get rid of that real quick. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video right here. Now, if you notice, if you zoom in a little bit, see these little separators here, these are what's called chapters in a video. See that? Okay. And the way you do that is down here. I have all these chapters added. Okay. So in this particular one, I want you to try to memorize this just a little bit because I'm going to go back and change them. Uh, and then you can see what's changed but I've got zero, 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 which is the title. Okay. Uh, and then custom cat. If you want to go to that, that's three Oh six. If you want to go to Lulu express, that's four 26, uh, T pop is six seventeen, and jet print eight Oh three and AOP is nine 46. Now the video itself, let's see how long it is. It's actually 14 minutes. So what we'll do is I'll go into the editing of this particular video. And I'll add one, let's say at 10 minutes. Okay. And I'll say it's a test or something along those lines. In addition to that, I also put some links in here for some of these things for people makes it a whole lot easier for them to go to. Uh, and that way, you know, the, the easier you make it for people, the more you help them out, the more they're going to like your channel, the more they're going to subscribe. So I try to make it as easy as possible. Give them a good description here. So let's go to this video here and I'm going to go ahead and go into the editing side. All right. So I'm at the editing side right here and you can see here's all the timestamps. I'm going to add another one here. Okay. So I'm going to put one right here and I'm going to say 10, uh, colon O2. And I'm going to say test chapter because I don't really know what's a 10 O2. I'm just sticking that in there. Now, as soon as I put this here and I click save, it knows to actually go to that spot in the video. So let's go ahead and save it real quick. Okay. It's now saved. Now I have it in another tab here. So what I'm going to do is refresh this page and I'm going to go ahead and stop this ad that's in here because we've got an ad at the beginning of all my videos, which I love. I love ads. Of course I do get paid on ads. Ads are awesome. So now I'm going to look down here. Look, here's the one I just added test chapter. Now we have to go ahead and get rid of this ad real quick. So let me do that. And I'm going to get rid of the ad and then let me, let me stop this here. Watch what this does over here. It's added another chapter and see how it says test chapter. It put a break right there. So now when a person looks down the description and they click on this right here, it's going to go to that spot in the video right there, which is test chapter. Is that amazing or what? So it doesn't take you a lot of work to do this. Now I will tell you. The best thing to do is go through your videos and pick some sections in there that change. So maybe if you're doing restaurant reviews, say, here's where I review the steak. Here's where I talk about the potato. Here's where I look at the menu. So maybe if somebody's interested 
in the menu of that restaurant then they're going to go look at that timestamp and go there and it's going to make them that much more likely to watch more of your videos because they're easier to watch some people will argue well i don't want to do that jr because they're going to skip over the whole video and i don't want them to do that well if they wanted to skip over your video anyhow and scroll to get there you might as well make it easy for them because if you don't make it easy for them they're just going to get frustrated and maybe they won't watch any of your videos so it doesn't hurt your views like you would think it does now of course i want to go back and i want to remove right this timestamp here because i really don't want that timestamp. and then i'm going to click save again right here and now when i go back to that video let's go make sure that that 10 is gone because we really don't want that on there i'm gonna go ahead and stop this okay um we got another guy in his living room doing ads so there you go huh uh, and then i'm gonna go to um show more right here and that timestamp is now gone so that is all set up for you now there's actually a real advantage to adding these timestamps google actually will reward you for this because they know it's a better user experience if you add a timestamp on there they click to watch the video and then they click again to go to that timestamp that's actually going to give you two views so they actually reward you for doing this now something else you can do which is pretty cool let's say you wanted to share a video with somebody one of your videos but you wanted them to go to that exact spot you could actually stop the video at that spot and click share and share that video and it will actually start at that particular spot now if you notice when you are in youtube and you watch a video and you go back to watch that video again it actually takes you back to the last part of that video that you were watching so they do reward this they understand it they get it uh, and if you play the game which you got to play the game and you do the things that they want you to do you will get rewarded with more views so it's a simple and easy hack to do you do have to go through your video remember what you said uh, because you really can't do it in your script because you don't know how, what time it's going to be to get to that spot but after you've recorded the video you should be watching it and you should be editing it anyhow so you're going to know where those spots are on the video um, in addition to that guys i do have a course below that's absolutely free it's a 97 dollars course that you can get all you have to do is click and learn and guess what there's timestamps in this video so you can go to one of those timestamps in this video and see how it works and watch that particular part of the video understand building your channel on youtube is not easy it's not easy a lot of people uh, try to start youtube and they never really do anything i had somebody uh that i know that bought one of my courses the other day and this this kind of makes me think about it uh and uh after about a week uh, she sent me an email and she says are there refunds on your courses because i feel like you have done so many videos that i could just get everything out of your free content and use that money to start my business uh, and I looked through it and it seems like it's the same thing. Now, what this person didn't know is that my software tells me if they went through any of the courses and how much they watched and how many videos they watched. And she had watched absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing. Um, guys, you got to take action. And my answer to her is yeah, as soon as you go through the course and, and you, you apply the information, if it doesn't work for you, sure. We'll give you money back. Not a problem. Um, I found that most people don't do anything. Most people not only don't go through the whole course, some people never even start the course. So these things that I'm telling you to do guys do work, but you got to do them. You got to do them. I know in the beginning I tried the wrong way. I tried not having descriptions. I tried not having thumbnails. I tried not having timestamps and that doesn't work. Okay. You're going to have to do the work. So watching this video will teach you how to do these things, but you have to apply them. When somebody says, Hey, I bought your course, so I should be getting rich any day now. No, it's not true. My course doesn't make anybody rich. None of my courses do. What makes you rich is learning the information and applying it. It is application. Okay. It is effort and you still have to do it. And there's no getting out of that. There are videos on YouTube that will tell you that you could work four hours a week and make a million dollars a year. It's a lie. Don't believe it. It may make you feel good. You may get excited. You may go, Hey, on the weekends, I can just knock out four hours and in a year I'll have a million dollars. No, you won't. It won't happen. It's just not going to happen. Anything that's going to give you any kind of big reward. You're going to have to put a lot of effort into it. And as soon as you realize that 
then you can start putting effort into these things and you can start making money but do add timestamps all your videos make it easy for the viewer and you're gonna get more subscribers more likes you know more bell notifications all that stuff which reminds me I want you to make sure you subscribe right now turn on all bell notifications uh, so that you're notified every time I upload a video or I go live in the comments below let me know what you think about this are you gonna put timestamps on your videos have you put timestamps on your videos put that in the comments section below I would love to hear your input if you have any questions about starting running and growing your online business please also put that in the comments below thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one hey thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time I do a new video also click on one of those videos there keep watching on my channel